UFC Fight Night, Tui Vasa vs. Tybura took place on March 16th and raked in at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract. And while it took place in the UFC Apex so there are no ticket sales to report, the total revenue would have been boosted by sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? Welcome to MMA Money, hit the like button if you enjoy the video, let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, Gerald Mearshart showed off his wrestling chops against fellow middleweight Brian Barbarena and secured the submission victory via rear naked choke at the end of the second round. The win tied Mearshart with Anderson Silva for most finishes in UFC middleweight history. Barbarena earned $94,000 on the night, while Mearshart took home a win bonus and earned a total of $216,000. The second fight didn't last long as Macy Chasson submitted Panny Kianzad just under 4 minutes into the first round. Chasson got a takedown early and controlled Kianzad for most of the first round until she sunk in the rear naked choke for the win. Kianzad took home a total of $44,000, while Chasson earned a win bonus as well as a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for a total of $156,000. The third fight saw featherweights Christian Rodriguez and Isaac Dolgarian in a scrap that started out primarily on the ground as Dolgarian displayed his superior wrestling. The striking game started to open up in the second round, and by the third, Dolgarian had completely gassed out, taking on massive damage. He was able to survive the round, but when the scorecards were red, it came down as a split decision victory for Christian Rodriguez. Dolgarian brought in a total of $16,000 and Rodriguez took home a win bonus and a total on the night of 52,500. The fourth fight was a back and forth striking battle between light heavyweights Ovin St. Pru and Kennedy Enzichuku. It was very close through two rounds, but in the third, OSP scored a knockdown with a big uppercut and followed it up with combos and sharp boxing. Enzichuku finished the round strong, but the judges scored it a split decision victory for Ovin St. Pru. Enzichuku earned a total of $56,000, and St. Prue took home his win bonus and a total of $237,000. The co-main event between Brian Battle and fellow welterweight Anj Losa started fast as Battle attacked with kicks, knees, and sharp boxing to take the opening round. However, the fight ended early when an eye poke in the second round prevented Losa from continuing, resulting in an unfortunate no contest. Losa earned $16,000 to show, along with $4,500 in fight week incentive, for a total of $20,500. And although there would be no win bonus, Brian Battle brought in $56,000 to show and $6,000 in fight week incentive for a total of $62,000. We've seen the UFC sometimes pay fighters their win bonus in these situations based on how the fight was trending, but we can only speculate if Battle was given any sort of locker room bonus. And finally, the main event of the evening, fan favorite heavyweight Tai Tuivasa came out strong against Marcin Taibura, landing punches and elbows that opened up a big cut on Taibura's forehead. Later in the round, however, Taibura scored a takedown and controlled Tuivasa from the back, landing big shots before ultimately sinking in the rear naked choke and notching the first round submission victory. Tuivasa took home $105,000 to show and $11,000 in fight week incentive for $116,000 on the night. And the winner, Marcin Taibura, took home $135,000 to show and $135 for the win, $16,000 in fight week incentive, as well as a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, coming out to a total of $336,000. The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.